X7 game is China professional welfare mobile game platform. The platform has a variety of games and is committed to providing players with the most direct and maximum game benefit and recharge discount. Players can directly enjoy recharge discount with packets, voucher, and other benefits. Up to 90% of the recharge amount can be used, and a recharge of 100 yuan only costs 1 yuan. Generation Zero is a 2018 game that runs on the Apex engine, and these are the minimum system requirements of this game. Today we'll explore how to optimize its performance on low-end machines through some simple graphical tweaks, so let's get started. I'll start by running the game using my integrated graphics. I've set the screen resolution to 1080p and enabled dynamic resolution and targeted the FPS to 60, and all other graphics settings are at their lowest preset. Now, let's see how it performs. Well, the game is still quite playable at these settings, but we always aim to achieve even more. So let's exit the game and look at what we can do to boost its performance. The configuration file of this game is located in the Documents folder under Avalanche Studios, Generation Zero folder, and as shown on the screen, open the settings.json file with Notepad. Firstly, let's start with the screen resolution and you can change it from here, and I'm going to change it to 720p. While the dynamic resolution targeted FPS in the game only allows up to 60 FPS from the in-game settings, but you can manually add a custom frame rate value here, and I'll set it to 120 FPS. You can also disable certain graphical elements like anisotropic filtering, post effects, vignette, and anti-aliasing by changing their values to zero. Once you've made these changes, save the file. Remember to set the file attributes to read only to prevent the game from overriding your settings. You can also download this configuration file from the description below. Now let's see the results. The game is now even more playable than before. So guys, that's it for today. Make sure to like and subscribe and also share this video with your friends who have low-spec machines, and they'll appreciate being able to play Generation Zero on their systems. And I'll see you all again in the next video, so until then, take care and bye.